Hello, welcome to our next math class. Uh, today we're going to be using place value to subtract. Uh, you know, in math, in class yesterday, uh, we learned about using mental math to subtract. Now we're going to use place value to subtract. All right, let's get started. All right, our first problem we're going to do is 473 minus 294. Now, just like in addition, one of the most important rules of subtracting is to line up your place values. It just helps keep everything neat and organized. So you've got to make sure you, uh, you line those numbers up. All right, so first we're going to start with 3 minus 4. Now, a common mistake that, that third graders like to, miss, to make is they'll take the big number and they'll take from the other, but you can't do that. You have to, we always put the big number on top, but we can't just swap out these two. Okay, so we have to do 3 minus 4. Now, if I only have 3, I can't take 4 from it. The most I can take is 3 from it, and then I run out. So I have to go to my next-door neighbor here. Um, so the 1's place goes to the 10's place, his next-door neighbor. He can't go to the 100's place. He has to go right next door. It's kind of rude to skip your next-door neighbor. And he asks for a group of 10. Okay, so I always, you know, think about it like this. He's going and saying, can I borrow a group of 10? Okay, so he's going to go, and the tens place is more than happy to give up one. So he's going to become six because he's going to give up a group of ten. And then this three is going to become thirteen because we took that group of ten, we added the ten to the three to make thirteen. Okay, so now we're going to do thirteen minus four. And um, hopefully you remember your fast facts from second grade. If not, you can use a strategy to solve that. You could mark, draw 13 and take four of them out or um, count backwards from 13. Sometimes I'll put four in my pocket and count up to 13. Whatever way gets you to the answer. But 13 minus 4 is 9. So I put my 9 there. Now I've, I come to my tens place. 6 minus 9. Now if I only have 6... I think about it like if I had six cookies, could I give nine of them away? No, I would run out first, wouldn't I? So I have to go next door. Uh, so he's going to go to his next door neighbor and ask for a group of ten. And that neighbor is more than happy to give one up. So four is going to become a three. And this six is going to become sixteen because we gave it a group of ten. So, all right, so now we're going to uh, subtract sixteen minus nine. Um, and if we, whatever strategy we do, whether we count back from 16, uh, 9 places, or we put 9 in our pocket and count up to 16, that's going to give us 7. And then we go to our hundreds place and we do 3 minus 2. And then we can do that. Uh, so 3 minus 2 is 1. So our answer to our subtraction problem is 179. Now, we are not through with this problem yet. We are going to use addition to check it. So when we use addition to check it, we're going to start with this number. We're going to put it on top, 179, and we're going to add it to 294. And if we did it correctly, we should wind up with 473. All right, here we go. 9 plus 4 is, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hopefully you knew that. Uh, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 7 is 17, and 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. So we ended up with the same number, so that means we got it correct. All right, here we go. Let's do another one. All right, so we'll do this one again together. Um, let's see. Um, actually, I think I'm going to have you copy this down, press pause, work it out, um, and then press play, and we'll check it together. All right, so press pause. All right, here we go. Let's check our work. Um, all right, 1 minus 8, we can't do, so we have to go next door. 3 becomes a 2. Oops, almost drew a 3 there. And 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. 2 minus 5, we cannot do. If we only have 2, we run out before we take 5 away. So we go next door. 6 becomes 5. 2 becomes 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. And 5 minus 2 is 3. Now let's check it by adding and make sure we got the correct answer. So we're going to start with 373 plus 258. 
All right, 3 plus 8 is 11. Uh, 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. 3 plus, two, 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. We wound up with the same number, so once again, we got it correct. All right, here's another problem. I'm going to have you copy this down and then uh, press pause while you work it out and then press play when you're ready to check it. All right, here we go. Now, this one was maybe tricky, hopefully not, uh, because of the zero there. So we have zero minus five. A lot of times, third graders will just go ahead and put five down, which, you know, might be right for that one, but it's not right overall. So here we go. Zero minus five, you cannot do. If you have zero cookies, you can't give any of them away. Um, so we go next door. Nine becomes eight. Zero becomes ten, because we added a group of ten to that zero. Ten minus five is five. See, that's what I meant when I said you would kind of be right, but in the long run, you'd be wrong. Um, eight minus six is two. And then eight minus seven is one. All right. And we could check it by adding. So let's do that. Let's do 125 plus 765. 5 plus 5 is 10. 6 plus 2 plus 1 is 9. And 7 plus 1 is 8. And we got the same numbers. So we are correct again. All right. So this brings us to our ticket into math class tomorrow. Uh, you're going to copy this problem down and solve it on your own. Remember to check by adding to make sure that you got the right answer. And we will check it tomorrow at the beginning of math class.